A super high-tech project to transform part of London's transport network has turned up some dramatic new evidence of this city's medieval past. Excavation work for a new railway line has uncovered a burial site. It's believed to date from the early days of the Black Death, the plague that wiped out millions across Europe in the 14th century. As the city of the future takes shape, an eerie reminder of the past interrupts the £15 billion crossrail project. The skeletons of 13 adults believed to be victims of perhaps one of the most devastating pandemics in human history. Archaeologists made the discovery eight feet below the road in Charterhouse Square near Farringdon in East London. A project like Crossrail, we've got 40 different construction sites across the city and they're all contributing a huge amount to that huge kind of picture of London's history, the history before London as well. We know about the tube trains and the electricity cables, the rats and the sewers, but underneath the ground here there's also the whole history of London. And just a couple of metres beneath our feet here in Charterhouse Square and the surrounding area, there are as many as 50,000 victims of the Black Death. It's not uncommon for building projects in the capital to unearth skeletons. Many of them, 17,000 in fact, are now kept in this storage room at the Museum of London. Some date back to Roman Britain, but there are plenty here who died in the Black Death. It was a dreadful plague, you know, there were many people died and there, is, there are these assumptions that somehow the, 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 the capital almost ground to a halt and then there, there was bodies in the street. But we know from excavations at East, East Smithfield and now from Charterhouse that actually the bodies were disposed in quite an ordered, regulated fashion. Within the teeth inside the dental pulp, there is a relatively uncontaminated source of DNA. Sharon DeWitt is at the forefront of the battle against modern-day emerging diseases. She's hoping to map the DNA signature of the plague virus and says the more skeletons she has access to, the more data she can collect. One of the important things about the Black Death was that it was caused by Yersinia pestis, which also causes modern bubonic plague. So this is a disease that people have been dealing with since at least the time of the Black Death, if not longer. Um, and so if we can actually get the, uh, more information about the genetics of the 14th century Yersinia pestis, it can tell us something about how the disease has changed over several centuries. Archaeological digs on this scale aren't permitted in London unless it coincides with urban development and historians are confident of finding many more artefacts as the Crossrail project continues.